ketones and aldehydes can be converted to their corresponding hydrates in water with a trace of acid or base. The position of equilibrium depends on the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon, and as a result, aldehydes are more likely to form hydrates than ketones are. Let's take a look at the mechanism for acid-catalyzed hydrate formation first. This reaction amounts to a nucleophilic addition of water across the carbonyl. With trace acid, the carbonyl oxygen can be protonated, and the oxonium ion that results is more electrophilic and therefore more receptive to the nucleophilic attack of water. And this nucleophilic attack of water pushes the carbonyl pi bonding electrons onto oxygen, thereby neutralizing its charge. However, in the process, a second oxonium ion is formed, and it readily loses a proton to yield the neutral hydrate as the product. Notice that in this mechanism, a proton was consumed in the first step of the reaction, but a proton was also liberated in the last step of the mechanism and therefore the acid is catalytic and only a trace amount is necessary. Hydrate formation can also be catalyzed by base and the reaction is still a nucleophilic addition of water across the carbonyl. In the base catalyzed mechanism the first step is the nucleophilic attack of hydroxide on the carbonyl carbon which pushes the carbonyl pi bonding electrons onto oxygen, forming an anion. And this resultant anion then deprotonates water to afford the hydrate. Notice that during the base catalyzed formation of a hydrate, a hydroxide ion is consumed in the first step of the mechanism but is produced in the second step of the mechanism. And therefore, the base is also catalytic and only a trace amount is necessary. In both the acid and base catalyzed reactions, the net result is the addition of water across the carbonyl pi bond. A hydroxyl group is added to the carbonyl carbon while a proton is added to the carbonyl oxygen. A classic specific example of hydrate formation utilizes a substrate known as chloral. This molecule has a very electrophilic carbonyl carbon because of the electron withdrawing effect of the trichloromethyl group. Consequently, Chloral reacts readily with water in trace acid or base to produce the corresponding hydrate. Chloral hydrate was used as an early sedative, but then gained notoriety for its illicit use in knockout drops. In trace acid, chloral's carbonyl oxygen is protonated. The resultant oxonium ion is attacked by water and the carbonyl pi bonding electrons are pushed onto oxygen. Finally, the loss of a proton from the last oxonium ion yields chloral hydrate. On the other hand, in trace base, chloral's carbonyl carbon is directly attacked by hydroxide and the carbonyl pi bonding electrons are pushed onto oxygen as a result. The anion that forms then deprotonates water and this produces chloral hydrate as well, but via a different mechanism. In summary, hydrate formation is the nucleophilic addition of water across the carbonyl pi bond of a ketone or aldehyde. 
The reaction requires a trace of acid or base to act as the catalyst. Particularly, electron-poor aldehydes favor hydrate formation. Typical aldehydes equally favor the carbonyl form and the hydrate form. On the other hand, typical ketones favor the carbonyl form. The preceding has been an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.